find a way to run Hello guys and welcome back to another video from the modding tutorial series here on my channel and today we'll be having a look into the common.zip folder now you might ask yourself what the frick is the common.zip folder and I explain the common.zip folder is in your official bmg drive directory where the game is saved in content vehicles and down here you can see the common.zip folder and it's two gigabytes big it contains all sorts of things but most importantly wheels tires and other accessories and brake pads which might be needed in the next episode maybe just maybe that can be used uh across all vehicles you just have to implement it and use how you do it well first you have to have the correct slot to fit your desired object so if we want to fit wheels on this car we choose some wheels go those generic ones and you can see that the slot type is wheel wheel underscore f underscore four and that's what we have right here and you can choose your default obviously and you have to consider um, one other thing you have to consider is the nodes to which that object beams will attach to they must have the same name so you know it works so let's just add some better wheels to our car and delete the old ones I actually already did that and I'm going to show you the process not the process but like the end result so you know what to do and yeah here's where it get difficult because we need to adapt a few things the first one is the structure of the suspension it has changed quite a little I took the one from the Piccolina as a reference and I first I added a new note on the side for some more structure to support the entire structure and I added another note for the suspension and renamed it to fit these new ones the general naming scheme then I made attachment points these four here this one this one this one this one for the in the form of a brake disc and the steering hydro also attaches to one extra one right here which is a little bit offset and these nodes all need to be in their right group I just copied this so that the flex body will work and to get the wheel to actually spawn where you want to you need to add this node offset so yeah because only BMG doesn't automatically know where to spawn it and to actually make the connection to the wheel um, we have these beams in the mix um, those are optional so BMG doesn't give us error if there is no wheel um, present and they also have a brake group which lets BMG know to show that a wheel has been broke broken and if any of these beams if any single beam breaks every beam in this in a group will also break and I don't know if I could show you this so make strong enough pull on the outside here you can see 
it shows us that it has been damaged. Okay, these are pretty much always the same, or they are always the same. Um, yeah, if we just spawn it like this, wouldn't work. To make that happen, we have to add some real information. We do that in an entire new object called the spindles and internally just wheel data. Also, I renamed these things so they would more or less match all the official content. So it's a little bit more clear to other people what this is supposed to say. So we also have to have a new slot for this right in here and this is a core slot so it can't be empty because if it was empty somehow it wouldn't work and you just copy this in here just copy all of this don't need to have this for now or you can as you remove that those comments and yeah just copy this make sure all the naming is correct and you have to write notes but they should be the same always because well you should have used the normal naming scheme and also up here in our suspension this is so this is still our suspension we just cancel out break properties because there could be some random stuff going on there with the brakes, but we don't want that. And I also made front and rear suspension different objects. So yeah. And now last but definitely not least, the spring beam, which is one of the most important ones, is this here. Technically it's a coil, coil over since it's uh, all in one. And you can see it has some special spring and damp values to make it nice and springy. Like exactly what a coil over should do. Should be nice and springy, but not too soft. Tweak the values with all of these things. Obviously, you shouldn't just copy my stuff. Maybe come up with something new. And actually, if you have a real structure for a car, it's probably easier because I have more attachment points. I have like one, two, three on this side of the car. Or my vehicle and one other thing you might see here are those pink pink beams which are support beams which are these all here they are here to well support <laughs> all of this um, but I can still you can see here I can still here even with those beams there and that's done through this uh, beam long bound so it can be twice as long without any effects and beam pre-compression means that it spawns actually 2.69 times shorter than um, like what the origin so it's always pulling on it so right now it's pulling from here to there and this one is stretching and obviously the other way around so it doesn't lock it in place and also it doesn't um, remove any bringing action so yeah there you go this was a quite quick run through um, you can I, I will make myself a github and upload all this code so you can take a proper look at it and yeah just look at the official content like this is the configolina I just use this as the example all the time and yeah pretty much that and always for rear suspension it's quite a lot more easier they're quite quite a lot more sim more more 
Simp simpler, simp. Uh, yeah. So you gotta always look at how the devs of BMG made it and try to replicate a little, try to adapt. Um, I think you're already uh, good enough for this. Uh, I trust you there. And yeah, I'm actually quite happy that this worked out. And yeah, I hope you learned something new about BMG. I hope you can replicate and make your own stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you don't want to miss any future content and want to support me. And yeah, see you guys again in the next video.